Hello friends, I am Becca and we are still playing Blank Dream. We uh, just finished the Room of Death. Uh, and before I move on to the next room, I kind of want to go back and explore uh, some of these other rooms, or at least uh, the Room of Love, where before I know there was a silver door um, that we couldn't get in before. I don't remember exactly where it is. Um, but, oh, where is it? I have no idea anymore. It wasn't with that creep. Yikes. Oh, yeah, it wasn't here. That silver door. Because we never went in, but now we got to have the silver key. Maybe this was not a good idea. Oh my. Yikes. Oh, what is that? Is that nothing? Maybe it does need to be less bright. Haha. <laughs> Top left on the right. Top Oh, on the right side, the top left one. And then the bottom left on the left. Okay, top left on the right. And then bottom left. Ah. Ooh. The mirror shows Uzu's reflection. It doesn't have to change as much as the mirror looks. Yeah, you just gotta look around, girl. Use those save points. The mirror shows Uzu's reflection. Okay, I think I'm getting used to this now. This mirror has got my past, my memories. You know, I'm thinking surely they show memories with something to do with my wish. If looking in the- oh, well, so her wish is to obviously be in a relationship with that girl. If looking in the mirrors might tell me my wish, I'm excited but a little scared at the same time. Seven years ago, Mirror Lake. Oh, did these two girls both die at Mirror Lake? This is beautiful. Pretty sunset, huh, Utsuro? Sunset is a witching hour. This moment's beauty comes from it being when the sun dies. It doesn't die. Even though we see the sun for 12 hours a day, we always forget its beauty. Well, it depends on what time in the winter, you know. I guess, but I like the sun in the day, too. You're positive about everything, Uzu. It's been a year getting to know Utsuro. I still haven't been able to tell her how I feel, but we're together as best friends a bunch. Of course, I still like her romantically, but just spending time together, period, is nice. Twilight is a vacuous thing. It's neither day nor night, and people spend preparing for the coming night. Why do you find her interesting? She's just like, you know why? She's kind of goth, down about everything, so is the main character whose name I continually forget. Twilight isn't watched and enjoyed, it's just empty and hollow. Much like my name. What? Wait, that's like... Wait, are they the same person? Is the sunset making you sentimental? I think Utsuro is a great name. A great name? I hate it. To be called hollow? Oh. It feels more like a denial of my existence. Hmm. But I like how it feels all translucent. It matches your mysterious air, too. Is that right? You know, Uzu, I'm a person who shouldn't exist in this world. Huh? What's this now? Just the fact I'm alive is a mistake. My existence is a cluster of sin. That's a sad, sad way to look at your life. You mean like original sin? Did you ever tell me you're a Christian, Utsuro? I didn't mean anything like that. In a more concrete way, I shouldn't exist. I don't get what you're saying, Utsuro. I mean, isn't shouldn't exist really extreme? We get along so well. If you didn't exist, what would I do? If, hypothetically, I were to die soon, then you should forget about me. Oh, we you know when people start talking like that, it's really worrisome. I could only blankly listen to Utsuro, whose words felt so disconnected from reality. It was as if Utsuro saw something different, and I couldn't perceive things the same way. Hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah, I remember. Even as I got closer, Utsuru was a strange girl, though that was charming in a way. Most of my memories of Utsuro are back now, and I know these are important memories to me. I still can't remember up to my death, but it seems I've remembered something's precious to Utsuro, no, Utsuro, to Yuzu Hanasaki. And it's thanks to you, Mishiro. Really, thanks a lot. Mishiro, that's her name. Oh, I know, take this. Mishiro got a mystery key. I picked that up earlier, but I don't know how to use it. I'm sure it'll be useful to you somewhere, maybe. Okay, let's return. Tell me if there's anything else. A mystery key. Because all the other places... The only other door... So we now have a gold key. But the only other door that we don't... Um, have any, for, anything for is the one in the corner. Uh, through the other gold room. So, three rooms left, I guess? Okay, this one says... Realm of blood. Ew. Bathe in it if you wish and go mad. This is uncomfortable. Save. We shall guide you to the mirror quickly and without interruption. Welcome, master, to the realm of blood. What are those? Presents? A pile of presents? If you are tired, enjoy a soothing meal. I don't trust this. <coughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't even notice there was a door here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. This never ends, does it? Oh. Whoa, well that was mighty confusing. Let's go through the store. Oh. Uh. Clocks. Ah, oh, and creepy places like this scare me. We shall guide you to the mirror quickly and without interruption. Oh, I didn't even read this. I'm just missing. If you see anything you like, relax at your leisure. A beautiful painting. Oh, I didn't go through this door. Oh. That bear. If you wish, you may take a comforting rest. The mirror is to your left. I don't trust this. It's enough for your bison. Ah, they tell me where it's all at. Just listen to them, and then they're probably gonna kill me. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, I don't know. Wow. Well, that was so convenient. I guess I could have looked away and just left, but then there's like no real point. Two years ago, a middle school. Hey, Usui, you're late because I had gym. I don't care, just give us our homework. You did it, didn't you? Pusher. Oh, can't get in the mood for three math worksheets. Oh, can't get in the mood for three math worksheets. Thanks, little Usui, what a jerk. 100 yen fee for every wrong answer. What? You're rich. That's enough responsibility, eh? That's so rude. What am I doing? I'm living like a slave to the every whim of these pieces of garbage. It's true. You listening, Usui? Always spacing out. That's blank stares, Usui, all right. So mean. Does the class even know you're a student? If you don't stand out some, nobody's going to notice you. I've been dealing with them for about three months. They're just letting out stress for all the coming exams. They're not going to a decent high school anyway. That's the sort of thing I think about as I let it, and 
Oh, as I let it wash over me and endure. With the recent death of my grandpa, aw, a famous artist, the Usui family has been in turmoil over his inheritance, so I can't talk to my parents or stop attending school. At home, I care for my family. At school, for these losers. I feel myself withering, lonely, and doubting. What am I living for? Aww. I'm the one who's building up loads of stress, not you jerks. Aw. Say, did you know I do? Contrary to her appearances, she really likes frilly outfits. Huh, for real? Totally. Like gothic Lolita and stuff. She's gone out like that on her days off. <clears throat> now that's something. So cute. Usui, you want to be a princess? What? Why do you get out of being mean to her? Just stop. Don't talk about people's taste like that, you. Something rude. Well, it's about time, Usui. Show us your cute little clothes, Usui. Let us snap some pics. Don't rob me of the one... Think free of stress. Don't get into my private life outside of school. You listening? Bring out your favorite clothes. Sunday or something. We'll have a fashion show. What do you know? Usui, always such a dim, awkward girl. But today you'll get to be a pretty frilly princess. I don't like them at all. Oh, so adorable for her age. Wah ha ha ha. Don't make me any more angry. Hmm, you say something? What, Usui? You got a complaint? Hey, shut your traps, guys. Usui wants to say something. Hmm? It off. Ooh, she's... Not good. I can tell my emotions are getting uncontrollable. Walk away. Walk away. If I say silent, they'll get bored eventually. This isn't wise. So please don't reach for my pocket. Don't grab what's in there. If I grab that, he'll turn the world upside down. It's a knife. What's that? Say it loud and clear, cutie pie, Usui. Knock it off! You... Mmm. Mmm. I knew it! Yes, in that moment, Mishiro Usui took out a small hidden knife and swung it at the delinquent. Look. That was not a great response. She should have just, like, run away. But I understand she's in middle school. It's hard to make sense of all these different things. She shouldn't have stabbed this girl. These girls also shouldn't have been bullying her. So they just need supportive parents, friends that love them, Teachers that care about them. Ugh. What a mess. It's just so complicated. And this type of stuff happens in real life all the time. And it's just so sad. Because I'm just like, I just want every person to have someone in their lives that they know loves them. And cares about them. And cares about what happens to them. And will listen and not judge them. That is like my hope and dream for every person mm. it's just it's so sad it just breaks my heart a little it left a trail of red on the girl's hand six centimeters long immediately after this incident a teacher heard a scream and came running it wasn't a severe wound so it didn't affect my school record such that i couldn't graduate that was good that's nice and the delinquents no longer approached me in fact no one in my class did okay good i'm glad that this girl is the bully is okay and that uh, Usui is not being bullied anymore. <laughs> it's unfortunate how it all went down. And when my parents heard of the incident, my mother especially lost it and betrayed me. Oh, betrayed, berated me. She began using harsh discipline and control over me in some, in the name of correction. That's also very sad to me. That was this memory. Now just to break the mirror. Not yet. Not yet. There's more to do here still. This may just be a vision of the past. But this is a reenactment, an illusion the mirror is creating. It's merely based on my memory. So what reason is there to hold back? Before the blood and screaming brought me back to my senses, but now is different. Now that my spirit has grown stronger from going around this world, I can kill them. Leave no survivors. I'm convinced I can do it. I'll let my urges and hatred find an outlet. Oh no, I'm gonna let her. If only here in the mirror... I'll get retribution if only here I'll make these horrid mm -mm, suffer. Yeah. I'm not gonna do that. No way. I'm not gonna have her go and kill all these people. Mm -mm. No! Well, now I know. I'm going to make the other decision because I don't want... Oops. Okay, I'm going to skip ahead. Okay, stab the knife into your throat. There we go. Okay. 
All right, that is something I can live with. I'm not gonna cut down these girls. Look, they're probably being bullied at home too. Michiro came to against me before the mirror, though she felt a vigorous feeling in her hands, there was no trace of a knife wound. Yes, in the third term of my second year of middle school, I turned a knife to those delinquents. As a result, all my efforts to call my parents as they dealt with their the inheritance went to waste. Instead of a bomb just waiting to burst, my mother became hysterical and strict after that. She desperately tried to train me right, and so I lost a place to belong. Just as Mishiro regained a piece of her memory, she felt as if she'd lost something important. Save. What's this way? Oh, I did that one. I think I did all the rooms and all that's left is... Dude, Suru. In the end, probably not, huh? For my appearance, it seems like I died in middle school. I wish... I, if my wish is something like that, then... Haunting the living probably won't work. I would... Okay, I'm gonna try that other room really quickly one more time. Because I don't want to go into that main door and then lose my opportunity to come back. Oh. Oh, it worked now. A famous painter as a grandfather, but they're still, it's just still sad. Yes, okay, okay. I really, and I know there are like different endings to this, so I really want, um, I don't know. I don't know what any of the endings are, but I really want there to be a good, happy ending because I really like happy endings they make me happy obviously the one thing that's kind of rough about this game is that it, it feels pretty tedious of having to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth <sighs> okay I'm gonna save again Okay, the mirror shows Uzu's reflection. Seems a little different from the others, like the atmosphere and the area. I never would have found this place myself, even after literal years, which is true. She'd been there for a really long time. So I'm glad I could help her out. Look, there's a cut. Let's cut the chatter. I'm just too worked up. Let's go for it. I'm excited. I want to see what happens. If hypothetically I were to die soon, then you should forget about me. A few days ago, the body of Utsuro Hinohara was found in Mirror Lake. Why? Why did Utsuro... No, it hasn't been enough. We didn't spend enough time together. Has Hanasaki seemed gloomier lately? I mean, she got along with Hinohara, so I can understand being depressed, but it's not that kind of gloominess. It's like... The local library isn't enough. They don't have books on this stuff. I need seances, necromancy, it all lacks credibility. I don't want this fake occult nonsense. Uzu, have you been going to class? If I open the gate this way, today marks a year to the day. Wait for me, Utsuro. I've been studying up this past year. Oh no. And now I'm going to meet you. I remember it all, how I died, my wish, and everything else. Of course, there's no such thing as black magic. I must have been on the brink, huh? Woo, I'm kind of exhausted getting all these memories dumped on me. Once I've sorted things out some more, I'll tell you my history and wish, Mishiro. Oh, are you going to go up ahead? Take me with you if you do. I feel like there's something very important to this world up ahead. What's up ahead? Let's go. Open the large door. I didn't go to the other door. I hope it's okay. Oh my goodness. It's the mother. Whoa, is this the end? Someone's there. You're... Once there was a painter. He was known as a mad genius. Rinzo Usui. Huh? You know my grandpa? Wait, Mishiro, it looks like... Maybe she isn't aware of us. Rinzu had a wife, but he also had a relationship with a servant. With his wife, he had a child. 
Shinji, with his servant, he had a child, Tamaki. Rinzu's two children, born of different mothers. Huh? Tamaki was the illegitimate child of an affair, but because Shinji showed no interest in art, Rinzu's affection was often directed at Tamaki, who did have an interest in the arts. Tamaki learned art from Rinzu. Oh, they're cousins, those two people. And given deep love, grew in the shadow of the Uzu family. But these irregular days couldn't last. When Tamaki turned 12, Renzu's wife learned of her existence. Renzu divorced his wife, but gave Tamaki and her mother the same love as ever. No, never mind. Thus far, no tragedy had occurred. But when Tamaki turned 18, Renzu made an unforgivable, mis uh, yeah, an unforgivable mistake. He had a liaison with Tamaki, his own daughter, and impregnated her. What? That There's like this... Da, 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 da. And they had incestual relationships. Yikes! Yeah, that... Wow, finding out some dark family secrets. Tamaki was deeply wounded and feared Rinzo. Oh, this is so sad. And with her mother, she fled from him. But the child she bore had done no wrong, so she decided to birth the child of her father. So Tamaki had a daughter, a daughter between parent and child. Tamaki thought she couldn't live a normal, happy life. But luckily, two years later, she had a proper marriage. Safely having a son with her husband, Tamaki began to step back on her feet. Oh, they're all connected. The, um, um... Utsuro, is that her name? The one that Uzu, Uzu likes is the illegitimate, hold on, the grandfather and her, his daughter. So this girl's illegitimate aunt had a child which was Uzu's, the girl that Uzu liked, and the son, her aunt's son, so her, her cousin, oh, the girl that are, they, they are cousins. I was right. Ha! <laughs> so confusing. Tamaki began to get back on her feet. However, she never fully did. The mental wounds Tamaki had suffered went even deeper than she imagined. When her now grown daughter with Rinzu began doing art at school, Tamaki's oh maybe not. Tamaki's old wounds ached. It gave her flashbacks to Rinzu of that fear she had of him. Tamaki struggled to give her daughter affection. It took all she had not to take out negative emotions on her. Tamaki's mind quickly crumbled under the weight. And one day Tamaki killed her daughter. What is this? What am I reading? What type of game is this? This is terrible! Tamaki fell to pieces. She came to feel animosity, not only toward Rinzu, but all the Usui's. Unable to see any hope ahead, she fell upon the despair behind. Rinzu died of natural causes a few years later, and while she had the right to his inheritance, she refused to take it. She wouldn't even let it go to the eldest son, Shinji. Then at last, Tamaki, who had kept living despite having broken long ago, met her end. When she learned the son she had with her husband was becoming friends... Yeah! I knew it! They are cousins! <laughs> With Sinji's daughter. You mean, Tamaki tried to take out Sinji's daughter? Oh! <gasps> the car! The Usui who dared come near her pure son. But when she drove madly down the road to kill her, she ran over her own son by mistake. Tamaki realized that this was the end, so she took her own life to escape the despair. No way. That's so messed up. It's true. It is. <clears throat> that woman's soul is now bound here. Unlike the other souls, the world is forcing her to be here. Tamaki's soul is now bound in death so that she can't escape, but must face the facts. This is surely my punishment. Yikes! I've gone on for a while. I can't see or hear you, but I know you're there. I don't know who you are, but go now. Let's go, Mishira. We shouldn't stay here any longer. Whoa. Should we return to the usual place? With Tamaki's story, I realized something. Here, let me save this first. Tamaki cell. Wow.
Okay, let's get started. Oh! This is a long episode, sorry guys. First, Mashira, I think you can open this big door here. You opened a similar door earlier, right? I bet you can open this one too if you try to. So before that, listen to what I have to- Ah! Oh, this creepy girl. Who's this? Get out! Stop! Don't meddle anymore! Give back my world! Watch out! Oh! Gah! Uzu! Why? Uzu? Oh, it's her! It's her! This works just fine. You listen to this too. Oh my goodness, it is her, isn't it? I'm Uzu Hanasaki, a middle schooler who committed suicide at 15 at Mirror Lake. The reason I killed myself was, to put it bluntly, to meet a girl I loved. Someone had killed her at Mirror Lake. It made me extremely sad. So I read all these books on black magic and killed myself to go to the afterlife, to die at the same place exactly a year later. It said that would work. It's her. Is that wound okay? Don't worry about me. It doesn't really matter now. Huh? I think it's a different afterlife than what the book meant, but ultimately, I came to this world, but it seems there is something to be gained here. That girl, she always said she was someone who shouldn't have existed. I always found it weird and wondered why it was, but I found out now. She's born between a girl and her own father, between Tamaki Hinohara and Rinzu Usui. Her very birth was taboo. Isn't that right, Utsuro? Yes, I knew it! Ugh, ooh, zu, ah, ah, leave this world! Can't you not talk like she wants to? She doesn't need to, I know, because I've always known Utsuro. Thank you, Mishiro. Because of you, I can get back my memories and my wish. I learned that Utsuro's birth and death. My wish was to meet Utsuro one more time. It's come true, finally. Oh my goodness, this is so sad. Your body, Utsu. I've done what I need to do in this world, so I'm satisfied. It feels like it's taken so long, but Utsuro was here before I was. I don't know what kind of wish you had, Utsuro, but considering your birth and death, I'm sure it's not something simple. I hope it comes true, and I'm glad that even if you're like that now, you can still recognize me. I, um, sorry for digging into your past. <gasps> ah! She's been here for much longer than us, she finally got her wish granted. Must be satisfied, I guess. Her wish, and my wish. Wait, Utsuro, was it? Is she a soul like us? I wonder. Somehow I get the feeling she has had a close connection to this world. Maybe the answer is behind this door. Ooh, I don't want to go there yet. Ooh. Guys, we are at the very end. Uh, but I'm going to have to stop right now. We're going to have one final episode, I'm sure to finish this all off, and I'm really excited. This took a really dark and weird turn I was not expecting. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!